Hello. Hello. <laughs> My name's Thrasher. Agent Raptor. And this is The Curious Expedition, a game about exploring a bunch and getting a statue made after you. It's a pretty good pick up and play. Um, you can just pick it up and play it. It's kind of cool. It's, uh, you know, you click around, you lose sanity. Uh, it's pretty accurate to real life. Um, you get to pick these cool explorers, and uh, yeah, you're part of this explorers club, and you, uh, you're all competing to get a statue made in your likeness. As you can see, there are a number of options to pick from. Um, we haven't unlocked any of them because we're not good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're pretty bad. But it's okay. Now you can watch us be bad. Um, I like Chucky Darwin. He's a pretty cool dude. What's this guy's name? Oh, excuse me. Um, Henry. Welcome back to the Explore. Okay, just kidding. Just kidding, Henry? Yeah, Henry's talking about basically how we could be in the runnings for having a statue. Tubman. Oh no. Our arch nemesis. Harriet Tubman. We have to go to the old jungle. This is the old jungle because it's a retirement community. Mm hmm. And they have an age limit. You have to be 65 to enter. And uh, the animals are kind of harmless. They're all like. They all have like cheetah dentures and jaundice. Jaundice. <laughs> Brother Alexander approached me this morning. Uh, he had decided to leave Britain and begged us to guide him to a nearby village upon our arrival at our destination in order to spread the word of God. What would he usually offer us if we did that? Like, what do you think he'd give us? Money? I would say a hand job, but we're not little boys. Chucky uh, Darwin, spreading the word of God. And um, we don't need to do anything else with the ship, so we'll just go ahead and depart. You should ride our donkey. Yeah, good call. So if you mount the donkey right Mr. away... Mr. Gibbs. What's his name? Mr. Mr. Gibbs, nice. Let's uh, investigate our characters. Here we got Chucky Darwin. He's a butterfly enthusiast and escorting missionary. He's good at seeing and thinking. Seeing and thinking. Defending and stealing. We've got Glenn Clark. Good old Glenn. We'll call him. He's good at whiskey. He's got an alcohol problem. He's so bad at whiskey. <laughs> Depending on how you look at it. And we can level him up um, and he'll get whiskey ex expert level 2. That basically means that anytime we consume whiskey we'll get extra points towards sanity which takes down every time you move. Uh, which is pretty handy since we have a bunch of whiskey. It's like in real life whenever you move. You go crazy. <laughs> Unless you have whiskey. <laughs> Andrew. Yeah, Andrew is his name. He's got diplomacy, so he can help us talk to the natives. He's a, a kleptomaniac. Uh, and then he's got indigenous diplomacy. This is cool because this might work out in our favor. We don't want to play the bad guy, but he might just steal stuff for us. Which is kind of cool. And then if we get in any trouble, we can throw this guy out as a decoy. Uh, he's got a strong mind. Wow, that's kind of cool. Increased maximum sanity. Hmm. Uh, his spiritual solidarity um, allows us to rest for free in missions, which is cool. And then, you know, you can upgrade his mind. So we can go ahead and uh, maybe hit up this question mark? Yep. Go hit it with a machete. <laughs> Chop down some rainforest. We came across a stone circle that was obviously man-made. Reveal settlements or ruins? What do ruins have? Um, so most of the ruins have um, gold for stealing, but we're not stealers, uh, except for um, Andrew. good old Andrew. Um, Andy Sandberg. And some of them have um, blessings, where you get perks. It's ruins? Sure. We might get blessings, that'd be kind of cool. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is a bad idea. Oh wait, he's Scottish, isn't he? I'm pretty sure this was a bad idea. Well, that's really good, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I took an accent class. Did in... you? No. <laughs> Obviously not. Mm, there's a question mark over here. We could probably hit that and the village. Obviously. Yeah, hit the question mark first. And we go around the forest, which is cool. We don't waste machetes. Mm -hmm. So just like in real life, whenever we see something we haven't seen before, um, we rush in head first. <laughs> yeah. Without a single question asked. <laughs> Disregarding everything. Yo. Um, oh, and a Pam. 
and a Pam. Cha. A wandering tradesman had pitched up a camp here. The colorfully dressed trader had a lot of loot. Uh, had a lot of valuable goods on offer. All of them had undoubtedly been used before, probably during the other unsuccessful expeditions. Flare gun, drums, bullets, treasure map, and oh, shovels. Treasure map and shovel? Mm. Well, we certainly need those. What will you give us for one torch? <laughs> <laughs> How about that useless map? <laughs> what about some shovels. So this guy is a traveler, and has a treasure map, and has a shovel. Yeah, what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> what are you doing, dude? What about bullets? No. What about cameras? No. Get one of our machetes back? Oh, that's so awesome. We'll trade him one machete, two whiskey, and a torch <laughs> for a machete, a shovel, and a treasure map. <laughs> He's a grade A sucker. So, oh, yeah, we have to investigate it. Was it where we're standing literally right now? <laughs> it's like right next to us. Thank God we got that machete back. So what, which spot is it on? Right above the mountains? Or? Yeah, so it's right... Oh. See this one here? I think it's right there. So it was like a foot away from him, and he's like, it's too far. <laughs> <laughs> I've already set up camp. <laughs> Sun's going down. All right. Shovel. Shovel time, baby. After many hours of digging, we indeed found some valuable hidden... Uh, some Something valuable hidden beneath the surface. We should focus on loot and devils. You should not focus much on the loot. Oh, very pious. Whoa, more stuff! Tome of random teleportation. I can imagine what that is. Certainly want that. And abomination. <laughs> oh my god, and we can sell the treasure map too. Probably. To somebody. I don't think it's worth a bunch, but yeah, we might be able to. That's hilarious. <laughs> it's like, yeah, no, no, it's there. Just chopping down that forest. Yeah, I feel like that would harm our standing. <laughs> what they don't know won't harm them. We arrived at a native village. We encountered a tribe that were apparently fearless and intimidating warriors. The village observed us with curiosity as our trek arrived at the settlement. We moved freely about the village, considering our options with these people. Can we just proceed to loot and shrines? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> One track mine. Andy Sandberg began to converse with the natives. That's nice of him. Yeah, thank you. Deliver the missionary. <laughs> Deliver missionary, baby. Jumanji. It's a native villager. Uh, Jumanj Leg. Jumanj Leg is the chief. We delivered the missionary to her. With her boob hanging out. Boob hanging out. Cool. That's cool. his name. <laughs> we should definitely recruit. I hope Cool wants to come with us. Fabulous. Fabulous. Uh, he's pretty fabulous. Look at that hair. Fucking punk rock. Fucking punk rock, what man. He is. Let's check that out. Recruit. Do you think all of our um, um, travelers are uh, mad because we get to ride a donkey and they have to walk around holding five machetes? Water buffalo? Dude, a water buffalo would be legit. Do we get to name it? Yes. I want to name it Stanley. I'm lying. Um, Demo or Yoda. Keku. <laughs> Whoa, what is this perk that he has? Stealth. Reduces chance of triggering combat. That's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. He's also got combat dice. Um, and she's got combat dice, stealth, and she's a little superstitious. Yeah, I don't like superstitious. Also, her boobs are covered. <laughs> yeah. Take an example from your chief demo. What so you think Yoda? I want the buffalo. You want the buffalo for uh, it? Uh-huh. Okay. Mrs. <laughs> Muller. Oh, it's Miss Muller. Fuck. Miss Muller. Oh, what so buffalo. So she's single. <laughs> nice. I feel like uh, this would be an appropriate time for a joke about the Scotsman, but I'm going to hold myself back. Let's see what they'll give us for this map. <laughs> what does the rope do? Uh, it's apparently the most important item of every self-respecting adventurer. Well, are we self-respecting? Of course we are. Chucky Darwin. Well, we can get a couple of ropes, I think. I think you're right. Yeah, let's deal for that shitty old map that's useless. You sure? A couple of ropes. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here before it's... they find out. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much storage. Mm. Let's rest real quick. We'll rest. 
I told the team to unpack our things and prepare for the night. An overweight young man asked me a question. He wished to know whether it is true that European men have multiple wives. I told him that our religion frowned on polygamy. He nodded, but it was unclear if, it, if, his, if this answer satisfied him. Minus two standing. We probably would have lied to him to get standing, honestly. Yeah, I think so. But um, seems like we're doing now okay. they hate us. So <laughs> they don't hate us. We're still at one, um, which is kind of like just above hate. How's our buffalo? What's our what's our donkey's name? Mr. Gibbs, Gibbs and Ms. Muller. Don't you get any weird ideas? You want to level up our drunken Scotsman? Plan? Yep. Mm -hmm. Damn it. Okay. Cool. That seems seems like a good option. Decrease Decreasing loyalty. Because we didn't give him any whiskey. Oh, what a dick. Uh, all right. Probably gonna leave soon. Should we give him some whiskey? I mean, it'd be a waste. That's it would be we a already waste, had yeah. the penalty, and we're about to leave. Or win the expedition, probably. I don't know, Harriet Tubman's looking like she's closing in. Uh, okay. New region discovered. Cool. Uh, what are these things? Fireplace. Okay, cool. Uh, so there's a hyena, there's a beach. Hmm. I'm gonna spend uh, the day at the beach. I mean, yeah. I know it'll put us a little behind the other adventurers, but... What about random teleportation? Should we use that real quick? Maybe? I don't really know... I think we should save it. Just this way, then? Maybe? Yeah, sure. There's no, uh, we don't have to use anything other than sanity. And who's using that, really? <laughs> Butterflies! Butterflies! We're going. <laughs> all, our, <laughs> all our companions are like, what the fuck, man? There's all kinds of stuff around here. And a new level? Yeah, boy. We could level up uh, Andy Sandberg. Sure. Okay, why not? So we have a penis compass here that points us in the direction of the nearest pyramid. The more map we uncover, the more accurate it is. Just like in real life. Uh, let's explore. Explore. Exploring. Lucy, you have some exploring to do. Uh, this bleak and ancient place was located in the midst... We should leave as soon as we can. <laughs> I was, uh, narrating. <laughs> yeah. Focus on the expedition. He definitely, uh, he's, he's kind of an ass, I think. A little bit. I like him, though. This bleak and ancient place was located in the midst of a swamp, strewn with the remains of long-dead elephants. For some unfathomable reason, hundreds of impressive animals had come here to die. Search the area. Plus one days, this place I came on this expedition for the riches. For the love of God, Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> Can we listen to this person? That's hilarious. This place, <laughs> this place surely retains some trinkets of worth. I instructed the people to form small teams and investigate the surroundings. We inspected some skeletons and found some well-preserved tusks. Ivory was particularly valuable, and I was delighted that our time here was worth it. Um, it, does it lower our standing? No. Oh, cool. We can just yeah. get it? Uh-huh. Nice. Let's move through our treasures waiting for us. Dude, they really want to go to this. Mm -hmm. They're like super mad at us, too. They just really want to go to that. I hit up, hit up the village, maybe. Ms. Muller. What's up, babe? Alright, this is a warrior tribe. Mm, Andy Sandberg is our communicator. What do we have here? We have Chimay. We called her Fig Newton for short. Bono. Voldemort. Native villager. <laughs> uh, Voldemort the second. And Naza. That's such a sick name, Naza. Especially with those pierced nipples and toplessness. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, we could trade with them. Coakley's. Maybe uh, Darwin has a little bit of a drug problem. Uh, we can trade a tusk for a manufactured tusk. If we give them our tusk, it increases the standing. Mm, we could do that. Or we could use this horn flute to scare off that hyena that's on our tail. We could do that. 
came to an agreement with the natives. Uh, we should rest for sure. Wait. Well, we're really low on time, I think. Yeah. Let's we can just drink some whiskey. Here. Yeah. And also, yeah, what's his name? He's probably going to get mad if we don't drink whiskey soon. Yeah, we'll just get drunk right now. Oh, nice. Perfect. So much and sanity. And for a shindig. <laughs> nice. I love that guy. Yeah, he's uh, the best. Okay, so. Um, horn flute. Mm, good call. A peculiar organic object that produces a faint and unnatural sound. It seems to be able to distract wildlife. So I'm assuming that if I click over here, he'll just go there. Like, instead of coming after us. Go for it. Okay, and I think, obviously, we probably have to move. Yeah, you know. oh, he's sleeping now. All right, head to the shrine. Shrine? Just yeah. straight through? Uh, yeah, well, yeah. I mean, well, we have to go... It'll be, like, two moves to get there, but, yeah. Because he's sleeping. Yeah, that's fine. Stay asleep, little baby. <laughs> All right, that's not bad. Cool. Blame your sucker. Oh, it's taking us so long because of this stupid rainforest. Now I feel good about chopping it down. Right? <laughs> Will this make you happy, entering the shrine? Uh, investigate. Whoa. Slakra. This will probably not do any harm. Um, what's the Slakra? The letters Slakra are carved in the bottom. Native religious figure. Hmm. It's worth 70 fame. So, what if we steal it and then give one of them to the next village that we encounter? Yeah, okay, I can see that. That works. <laughs> I mean, it's not really playing the good guy, I guess. No, let's play the good guy. Okay, yeah? okay. Yeah. We're sticking with the good guy. It's so hard to do. Fuck, man. That's we're, so bad. Yeah, just head. Whiskey? No, I think just head right there. Ooh, 28th. We're, we're gonna run out. I, I think it'll be okay. I think you have to travel a little bit once it's run out. Okay, we're gonna try it. Oh, we're missing a butterfly. Decreased loyalty. We should have gotten drunk. Yeah, he's gonna leave us soon. We can't let him leave us. No. No! No! Ugh! I liked Glenn. Fuck. I had already been resting when I was awoken by a loud gunshot. I immediately ran to aid Glenn against an attack, but to my horror I found him dead on the ground, killed through my own gun. A tragic accident? I vowed that he would take his place in history. Well... That is so depressing. I was wrong about that. <laughs> no. Well, the pyramid's here. It doesn't happen always, though. Sometimes when you move, no, I know. All right. I know. Sorry. Oh, it's all good. Well, abomination. You wanna just go to the pyramid? Sure. Yeah, we'll see. Let's save this stuff for the next expedition. There was the golden pyramid enthroned above the landscape. Pluck will do it every time. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and enter this pyramid. Do, do, do. After all the hardship, extraordinary pride overcame me. I knew that the name Chucky Darwin would be respected within the community of intrepid adventurers. For fame and glory! Oh, so brutal, dude. First! Hey, we'll think of it this way. Next time um, when we start our expedition, we'll be um, poor. <laughs> and minus the Scotsman. Minus the Scotsman. Extraordinary! This is wonderful. Exquisite! Hey, at least I don't have to do my Scottish accent anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so now we get to choose the medal based on our um, exploits. Uh, let's see, charismatic. Recruit up to two units per expedition. We might need that one with our luck. Mm -hmm. uh, navigator. Increase the, uh, increases the game compass accuracy when penis uncovering accuracy. fields. Oh, penis accuracy when <laughs> uncovering fields. Um, that's kind of cool. And then, uh, careerist. Promoting characters improves their loyalty towards you. That also could be useful. I like this one, though. Yeah. I think we'll need it after Especially last. since we burn through, um, recruits Two. like candy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you burn candy, it burns <laughs> yeah, really quickly. Fucking Tubman again. Tubman! Oh my god, she's so famous. Alright, well let's gift this, yeah? Yeah. We won't, we won't even put a dent in our Tubman. Oh, that hurts. Alright. 
Well, I think this is a good time to uh, end the first episode. We'll do the next episode during the next expedition. And we'll see you explorers there. Or it's square. Or B-square. Bye. Bye.